Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michael. So today Apple just released iOS 13.3.1 to everybody. So I was beta testing this on my iPhone 11 Pro and today it is now available to the public. So this is a pretty substantial update and Apple has actually included uh, quite a bit of bug fixes and there's actually even a, a completely new setting uh, in this update that we're gonna talk about. So uh, first let's go ahead and take a look at the build number. Uh, the build number did change as I went from a beta version of this software to the final build. So I believe this got up to three betas. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But when I updated today, I had to remove the beta profile, uh, reboot my phone, and then I was able to update to the actual uh, public version. And my build number did change after I updated my phone. So just keep that in mind. So the first thing new in iOS 13.3.1, if we go into settings on the main page, find privacy, go to location services, Scroll all the way down until you get the system services. And then there is a brand new toggle called networking and wireless. So the title of this toggle doesn't really make sense. What it does is if you keep this on or turn it off, it will affect the U1 chip in your iPhone. So this is a proximity chip that allows your iPhone to recognize other iPhones around it. And it's useful for features such as AirDrop uh, if you wanna be able to share uh, files or photos with anybody around you uh, and you wanna be able to locate certain iPhones uh, simply by pointing your phone at another phone. That's what the U1 chip does. Now, if you don't want that to be turned on or if you think that might drain your battery life, you can turn this off inside settings and it gives you a little explanation there of what's happening when you do turn that off. I'm gonna keep that on though because I do like using the U1 chip, uh, especially for AirDrop on my iPhone 11. So the next change is a feature called screen time and there was actually a glitch in screen time uh, where if say for example you're a parent and you set up a passcode and you give your phone to your children there was a glitch where they could actually bypass all the screen time limits that you set up uh, without even entering a passcode so that has been fixed in ios 13.3.1 uh, definitely a huge bug fix there so there were actually three bugs that were fixed inside the mail app in iOS. It's kind of surprising, but this is actually the most bug prone application, at least in my experience with iOS 13, the mail app has been extremely buggy. So the first one is inside settings, there's a toggle for mail that uh, lets you turn off uh, remote fetching of images. So pretty much what that means is if someone sends you an email, your iPhone can either automatically download those images or your iPhone can wait until you actually choose to download that image. So if you have that toggle turned off, your iPhone still might download those images anyway, uh, which might eat through some of your data if you aren't connected to Wi-Fi. So that has been fixed in this update. And there also was an issue where uh, if you were deleting an email or doing the undo gesture uh, with three fingers uh, like that, I can get the email back. Uh, that would sometimes go through twice, uh, even though you only did it once. So it would think that you're doing the un undo gesture uh, two times or three times, even though you only did it once. So that has also been fixed in this update. And then one final fix is with push notifications. Sometimes they would not go through on Wi-Fi, especially if you have an iCloud email account. Uh, this has happened on my iPhone many times. Uh, it has though been fixed in this update. So I'm glad to see uh, that push notifications for mail are now working as expected. And a couple new things here that aren't directly related to software, but kind of new uh, information today. Uh, we did find out that the HomePod is going to be launching in India pretty soon. Uh, this was discovered in the code for iOS 13.3.1. So if any of my viewers are in India that are interested in getting the HomePod, apparently that will be available to you very soon. And also this new image of an apparent new Powerbeats 4 headphone from Apple is going to be released very soon. This image was found also in iOS 13.3.1. It looks like they're wired, so these aren't going to be uh, any premium headphones. They're not gonna be uh, like the Powerbeats Wireless or the Powerbeats Pro. Uh, it just looks like they're gonna update the design a little bit, and uh, we are gonna be getting some new Beats headphones, it looks like, uh, fairly soon here. So that's pretty much it for iOS 13.3.1. I've only been using it on my phone here for a little bit. I just updated. I let my phone index the files for a little bit and I plugged it in. And so far, performance is fantastic. iOS 13 for me has been very smooth, except with this update, I am seeing a lot more speed and a lot less uh, general stuttering when I'm trying to do stuff uh, on a heavy workload. So I'm very impressed with this update. Tell me in the comments below if you guys have any bugs or if you have any issues that you're experiencing with iOS that you would like to be seen fixed or if any bugs that you had were fixed in this update. Thank you for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.